and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple arrow transition. We've got two video files right here and I'm going to want to place an arrow transition in between. First thing that we need, just right click in your project menu, new item and black video. Width and height are the same as you've got in your sequence. Drag and drop it into your timeline, then go to right click, clip speed and duration, maybe one second should be fine. Afterwards you want to go to effects, type in tint and then drag and drop the tint effect on your black video file. Here it is now in my effect controls for this file. If you can't find these menus, go to window, effect controls and effects can be found there. You can see that there is a pen tool, but we need the one under opacity. So pick this, click on it. It should open a new mask. And now just drag an arrow shape. So simply left click. and then close the shape. As long as this mask is active, you can reposition the anchor points easily with left click and drag. And that should be fine. To make it move, we need an animation. Just go to motion and position. Make sure you are on the first frame of this element. So drag this slider to the left, then click on the clock icon to create your first keyframe. And then move the arrow with the position to the left. So simply left click and then drag your mouse to the left. Afterwards, drag your slider to the right so that we've got the end position. Click on this icon to add another keyframe and then move the arrow position to the right. And now it's moving, that's what we wanted to have. We could already keep it like this. In many videos I've seen people doing that. But you can see at the transition point, we've got the new video to the left and the right, so we can play around with the position and even hold Alt and copy this element, so the arrow element multiple times and layer them on top of one another. Reposition them so that they overlap. Right now that's not happening, so let me drag this one a little bit to the left. And now they are overlapping, so you can make your arrow bigger this way. Still the video is on the left and the right, but keep in mind that happens very quickly. So it's just a handful of frames, so most viewers won't even notice. But you can add a third element and make the arrow even bigger. And select them all and reposition this group of arrow elements. And now it's what we wanted to have for this simple arrow transition. If you really wanted to make it perfect, you would have to mask these video files frame by frame. I will certainly make a video in the future about that. But for the simple transition, that's already it. We still have the tint effect over here that we can work with and give this arrow different colors. Let me just show you this as well. Make sure that you click on the map black too, because our arrow is black. And now it creates this effect. So this is what the tint was for. And as you can see, if we just let it roll, it's so fast that people won't notice every single frame. 
and for a simple error transition that's already fine, we can use that. Once again, I will make a video about the more advanced version of this in the future, but this is how you can create a simple error transition in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.